leaving the stealth campsite I was at right there. I'm, I'm standing on the trail now. Uh, you can see I was on a piece of high ground. And so when the wind was blowing last night, when I got here to set up, it was a challenge. I hit fall number three this morning. <laughs> no big whoop. The rocks are super slippery and there were big rocks. And I must have stepped on one that was extra slick and kaboom on my right side. Yesterday was a challenge. I went to 15 miles, so I met my goal. The stealth campsite I selected was as far as I was going. It was on top of a ridge, as I showed you earlier. And so it was, as the Bostonites say, wicked windy. Going into Petersburg today. I'm gonna to see if I can get into the Hikers Heaven Hostel, I think it's called. Everybody raves about it. Uh, so it's 25 bucks and five bucks for laundry and I think three bucks for a shower. So I definitely, uh, I'm due for zero because <laughs> this is the seventh day in a row. And uh, quite honestly, my food bag is about empty. Uh, I got a little bit of coffee left and got a few Slim Jims left. <laughs> But everything else is gone. My gas can, I was hoping yesterday and today, when I gave it a shake, I couldn't detect anything inside it. Uh, so this morning I turned it on. I was hoping for just one more uh, boil out of my jet boil. And that can provided it to me. So it's all good. Uh, went through this meadow here. A little huffer and a puffer coming up. It, but not too bad and I'm kind of thinking that's the ridge I was on last night and I just uh, came across a, a Novo hiker and I'd like to, him to introduce himself. Yes, my name is Mike, uh, trail name's Ty. I started um, February 23rd, so uh, trucking along. Awesome. Yeah. And you were off trail for a little while? I was off uh, seven days. My daughter graduated um, basic training, army basic training. So awesome. I took awesome. seven days off, went to, you know, go visit her. Yeah. Thanks for the service. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and you staying healthy pretty much? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty did much everything's stay, going well. Did yeah. you stay dry last night? Yeah, I was dry. I was in a shelter. Oh, okay. So everything okay. was fine there. Awesome. <laughs> were you in Parisburg shelter, the next one coming up? Or? Yeah, Rice Field. Yeah. Rice Field shelter. Yeah. 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 That's cool. where I was. Yeah, All right. So hey, hey, it's cool. great talking to you, and uh, thanks for uh, joining my channel Same here. here. No problem. Okay, Happy Ty. trails. Thanks. Man. So anyway, I had a great chat with this guy, Ty. Uh, Ty, for Take It Easy, told me after I turned the camera off. And he's 52, and uh, he uh, I forgot to ask him on the camera what brought him out in the trail. But he says this has been like a 40-year dream for himself. And... He told me he was at Delaware Water Gap when he was 12 years old and a bunch of two hikers came through and they were all chit-chatting and talking and he got all excited about it but uh, he said I should have done it when I was 20 but life got in the way and, and all that so now he has the opportunity and he's out hiking but great guy. Uh, and we had a great, wonderful chat, both on camera and off. So I wish him all the best. And he's, uh, he was a great first snowbow that I bumped into this morning. And I just came across another through hiker going north. I'm Flamingo from, from Maine. And uh, I don't remember what else I was supposed to what, say. When did you start? Uh, I started on February 20th and got on the trail because looking for adventure. All right, all right. All and how old are you? I'm 25. Youngster, yeah. youngster. All right, uh, whereabouts in Maine do you live? Uh, Norway. Norway, yeah. okay. I've been by it. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple of towns that have those European names. Uh, yeah. Pretty I, close to that area. We're not very imaginative up yeah, here. Yeah, so. cool. Well, you're walking home, huh? Yeah, on my way. Awesome. Monday, okay. Bumped into a couple more. Two hikers here, and I'd ask them to introduce themselves. Uh -huh. um, I'm Eli, or Ewok. Um, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I started February 11th, um, and I'm out here just to learn a lot and get beat up in the process. <laughs> what, what brought you to the trail, Ewok? Um, I've been wanting to do it for about 
I mean, ever since I was a freshman in college, um, I've done a fair amount of backpacking and mountaineering, but I've never done anything to this extent. So I was ready to kind of see how my body would respond to it all. And awesome. And you're a youngster. How old? I'm 23. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I was 23 once, and I think OTB was too. But... <laughs> all right. My name is OTB. I'm off the bench and back into the game. I retired um, on uh, June 1st of last year. I was on the trail June 29th at Katahdin. I'm a flip-flopper. I hiked 900 miles south to the Jersey-Pennsylvania uh, border, Delaware Water Gap. February 22nd, I flipped to Springer, and I'm walking back to uh, Delaware Water Gap. Wow, now. awesome, awesome. And it's been, it's been fantastic. All right, and if you don't mind me asking your age, I'm going to ask you how old you are. I'm, uh, I'm 60-something. 60-something, awesome. I used to say I was in my early 60s. Now yeah, I'm 60-something. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm, 60 -something. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm knocking on 64 here in May, so I'm hoping I'm hearing that Beatles tune when I'm 64 as I'm trucking along. But anyway, thanks for uh, letting me uh, catch you. Uh, a little bit of your hike here. Yeah, thanks, All the best. Yeah. Okay. As I was putting on my pack, I noted a tick crawling around my lower leg, uh, looking for a place to land. I think tick season's always been here. I think they're around even when it's cold. But I have some of this Picardin, <clears throat> which is supposed to be very good. And uh, I've got a bottle, so I guess I'm gonna have to stop putting on my legs. Hi, I'm Snow White. Uh, my real name is Jasmine. I'm from Germany, near Frankfurt. And uh, yeah, I started at Springer Mountain at the end of February, and this trail is awesome. And it is like, I just wanted to do this to meet awesome people, to be in nature, and it's exactly like this. So awesome. Yeah. You staying healthy, Snow White? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks for uh, giving me a half a minute of your time. Yeah, of okay, course. Okay, all the best on your hike. I just came across the very first couple I saw through hiking. <laughs> so I'll let them introduce themselves and tell us all about them. Uh, I'm KO, keeping on. And IT for in tow. So I'll all just right. stay behind her, so I'm in tow. <laughs> all right, awesome. And you guys are married. Yep. Yeah. How many years? Oh, 11 gosh. years. 11 years? Yeah, it'll be 12. Wow. We'll hit 12 on the trail. Yeah. Good yep. for you. Good for you. <laughs> and when did you leave Springer? February 21st. Yep. 21st. All going well? Yeah. Yep, yep. All right. What gave you the opportunity to get it, get out of the real world and come out to the trail? Uh, oh. Just life, I guess. Just my, uh, yeah. I mean, we started the 21st of February. I lost my grandmother. I, oh, that was sorry a, to hear a, that. a year. So yeah. Yeah. she was the motivation to start that day. So. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. good luck on your hike and uh, thanks for letting me take up a couple minutes <laughs> of your time. Absolutely. Happy okay. trails, my yeah. Thank you. And I guess I have to make a correction. That wasn't the first two hiking couple I saw. They were the, actually the second. But uh, I saw the honeymoon hikers. I think that's what they call themselves. And I caught them on video as well. But uh, And I also caught the young German girl from Frankfurt. And uh, everybody seems to be doing well. Just an awesome view. Lots of little towns down below. I'm guessing over there somewhere is Petersburg, where I'm heading. I'm pork chop. I headed out uh, on Valentine's Day. Uh, me and my brother. It's I have a vlog also. It's a uh, pork chop and applesauce walk to Maine. And uh, is my that brother on YouTube? Died. Pork chop or yeah, YouTube? It's on YouTube? Okay. My brother died about a weekend, about eight days, something like that. We got hit by so much weather. Uh, today I'm sick. I ate too much food down in Petersburg. <laughs> And I'm hoping to get over it because right the, today is one of those days where you say, screw this. <laughs> you know, everything's sore, everything's, uh, we're only going eight miles. It's yeah. taking me half a day. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's it. And hey. We're going. All right. Cool. Hey, all the best on your hike and thanks for uh, coming aboard. And uh, hopefully my subscribers will subscribe to you and see nice. what's going on with pork chop. And I know you're going to be flying soon after oh, you yeah. get over flying, your ailment. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks again. <laughs>